Alright guys, I'm back. I'm going to do a little bit of videos today. It's, uh... <sighs> hmm... Wednesday... May 4th, 2016... Well, Wednesday morning, 2.13 a.m. May 4th, 2016. I'm going to do a little bit of videos probably until... <coughs> excuse me, 3 o'clock or 3.30. So I have about like an hour and a half, I think. So yeah. And I'm thinking about doing, I don't know yet, I don't know. But I want to try and beat this game or yeah, complete this let's play first. Upload this in my Batman and then I'll do dice. Well. <coughs> Excuse me. I was gonna save that for last. I didn't want to say that just yet. Oh well. Screw it. Because Dice has no let's play for it. Max, a group of soldiers just so. entered the lobby of your building. You'll need to take out that welcoming committee if you want to reach your apartment. Good luck, Max. Neutralize all forces in the lobby and board the elevator. So I want to whisper something in your ear. What? Tonfers are good. <coughs> the tonfers are good, but they're usually one-time use. So I'm gonna try to save those for like uh, <coughs> excuse me, for boss battles or something. Not again. Get up. I think the last time I played really this game. The gym more often. <laughs> I think the last time I played this. <coughs> excuse me. I might have been too proud to play it on easy or something. So I just didn't. Oh, that's how you lean against the wall. I was, I was wondering how to press up against the wall. Let's see here. Buzzing with troops. The only safe route is out the window and around the roadblocks. 
That's a uh, when we were together. Defeat the security team and save original Cindy. This game is actually pretty satisfying as far as combat and as far as challenge. <coughs> it's just, like I said before, I don't have time to spend all day on a challenge or, you know, on, <coughs> on games that are going to give me a lot of, like, run for my money and stuff. I don't mind a challenge for, like, replaying levels over and over again. It just doesn't make any sense. I mean, it does, but, like, when I spent 20 minutes of a video just be playing the same mission over and over and over again, not really making any progress, then it starts to, be, then it starts to feel like sort of a waste. Okay, now you're it. I'll go hide. Boo. That's more like it. Oh boy. Well, they should have known better than to mess with the original Cindy. That is so the lock. You better split boo. I can clean up here. Done. Watch your back. The cool kids don't say watch your back nowadays. Yikes. Yeah, I'm hoping I can beat this game in one sitting. Because, or not one sitting, but two sittings. I just want to get this thing over with. And finally, defeat one of my Nemesis Let's Plays. This is a Nemesis, or a Grudge Let's Play, actually. And maybe one day I will try Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. Because I have the game, it's just... <sighs> it's another one of those. It's just an RPG, and I'm kind of picky with the RPGs I choose to let's play. Someone knows you're trying to get to my apartment, so watch your step. Something else strange is going on. Some unidentified non-military vehicles are approaching the area outside my building. I don't like this, Max. Get here safe. Get here safe. Ooh. Rendezvous with Logan at his apartment. Reports show many armed soldiers entering the sector. <coughs> Excuse me. That's also a funny word. Rendezvous? Max, it seems troops are mobilizing some kind of biofence quarantine around my building. I'm not sure what's going on, but they're obviously doing something special. I'll monitor the situation and let you know if anything changes. It's her! Stop her! What? Okay. <laughs> What am I? Too much woman for you boys? <laughs> you hear that, Rambo? <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> it's 
some of these freaking one-liners. They're like almost the exact opposite of what Duke Nukem would say. Except they're not as funny. Well, they are funny. Considering how ridiculous they are. But they're not literally funny. There's this one where she says, Oh, I get it. Oh, shit, I <laughs> I'm talking to my friend Rambo about some of the ridiculous. Hey, I think I heard some of the ridiculous uh, one liners for this game. That's all. And believe it or not, GameSpot.com and Ga uh, IGN, the websites I go to for uh, reviews, among other websites, those are probably the two most popular ones, especially for PS2 reviews, because there's not a lot of review sites other than IGN and GameSpot that actually have reviews of PS2 games. I mean, there's other sites, I guess like uh, RPG Gamer or whatever. But like, there are a lot of websites that I found online, <coughs> excuse me, that offer written reviews for PS2 games or sixth generation games. And GameSpot, I think, gave this game a pretty high score, like a seven or something. And they don't, they normally don't do that with uh, boys, boys, boys. with uh, TV games or movie games. They gave this a high score. I believe they gave Alias a pretty decent score for the PS2. And they gave The Thing a pretty high score. <coughs> Even though The Thing really gets to my nerves. Max, I can't believe this, but Radio Chatter says some type of genetically altered soldier was released in the quarantine area. We're getting visual now. Oh, I can't oh, believe it. I've never seen anything like this. It's burrowing holes into the asphalt like it's butter. I'm going to look for more information in the iCorporation's research yeah. network. This is where I may have a little trouble because the boss battles in this game are very, very annoying. If you ask me. That's not to say they're not challenging. The boss battles are challenging. They're just challenging to the point where they're annoying. If you ask me. <clears throat> I don't know what the walkie-talkie does. Oh, I'm wondering if it's to distract enemies or what. Stop right there. Keep in mind, I'm good. It's a very dark game. I mean, I, I wonder if I could uh default settings. Oh no, you don't. No, I didn't. I didn't mean those two point settings. I'm trying to find somewhere to adjust the lighting. <coughs> Excuse me. But there doesn't really appear to be anywhere to adjust the lighting, so never mind. Ah, oh, come on, come on, come on. And I guess I could put this in my entry of a uh, Not All Movie Games Suck, a series that I haven't tried to start. Not really a series, but like, just certain, certain games based off of movie and TV, <coughs> movies and TV, you know, certain games that I wanted to let's play. And the thing is, you know, back in the sixth generation, it was, you know, said and proven to a point that anything based off of TV or movies is it's going to kind of suck <coughs> excuse me mainly because of the budget mainly because of poor ideas although some games actually some movie games and TV games actually had good ideas some like a few good ideas but it was pretty much a rule of thumb that if it's a movie game it's going to suck I used to go to GameStop 
They say, oh, don't get that. That's, that's a movie game. No, you're not going like that. That's, that's going to suck. <coughs> Excuse me. And that's the thing, like, this game is pretty good. Even though I don't like it, it likes with me. When I'm like when I'm not like when I'm let's playing a game that or when I give up on a let's play, it is because the game sucks. I'm not gonna sit there and say the reason I gave up on this let's play is because the game sucks. I just said the game was annoying. So like I'm not the kind of person to where like if the game's if I'm not good enough to beat the game, I'll say it sucks. It may slip out every now and then, but I know most times when I'm not good enough to beat a game. In this game, I'm not good enough to beat on normal. <coughs> and I'm certainly not good enough to let's play it on normal. I mean, I, I could under extreme circumstances where I just, you know, really, really tried and it was real strategical and really utilized all the game's stealth features. But I'm not trying to go all out like that. I have a whole, I have a whole list of games I want to do. And I'm not trying to get that deep into the game. <laughs> I just want to play it and enjoy it. But yeah, you know, like uh, the games I don't, that I don't let's play. It's not because they suck. If anything, you know, I, I'm not good enough to uh, let's play those games. Like Dark Angel Vampire Apocalypse. I'm not going to let's play that game. And it's not that it sucks. It's just I don't feel like doing all that. It's one of those games where it's a dungeon crawl and you have to do a lot of leveling up. And the whole objective of the game is to uh, to level up to a certain point, or to get strong enough in a year to take on this this uh, this boss. And to do that, you have to go through countless dungeons. Not countless dungeons, but a lot of dungeons. You got to do a lot. Of, you got to do a lot of quests, and you have to do a lot of leveling up. And I don't really feel like doing like that kind of play. Like if it's just like a regular uh, game, like a regular action RPG then I'd probably try it. Like, Fallout Brotherhood of Steel. That was something I could do. Because there wasn't a lot of grinding involved. You know, you just... With one end to the other, it was sort of challenging. But, uh, yeah, yeah it, 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 it was a good game. And... Uh, Swashbucklers was another good one. Well, Dark Angel Vampire, po Vampire Apocalypse is probably a good one as well. You know, but the reason I'm not doing the game is not because the game is bad or anything like that. It's just <coughs> I don't really feel like let's playing it. Maybe I will. Uh, maybe I will play it on my own in a non let's play setting. So I'm hoping that the boss battles are actually pretty easy on uh normal. And this boss would have gave me a lot of trouble when I first tried this on normal. And like I said before, like, if I break a nail, so kind of the frustrating thing about this game is that is that uh is that uh you don't really level up or gain any skills, you gain equipment, but that's about it. You gain equipment. And so, like, there almost really isn't a reason to replay this game unless you're really looking for a challenge or something. You know, but then again, the game doesn't suck because, you know, like, the game. Just because you don't level up and learn any skills doesn't make the game bad. It just makes it. I guess I'll say a lot more challenging than it really has to be. If that makes any sense. And I think the key to this battle is to just, uh. stand near walls. See, even on even on normal. Oh yeah, and to make matters worse, I don't think you can even use. Yeah, I can't even use health packs in this in this battle. <laughs> See, that's one thing I think that makes the boss battles also kind of tough or annoying. So, is it you can't you can't even use you can't even you can't even use health packs during boss battles and I'm like what's the point I love 
the smell of fear. I can't even. <laughs> I can't. I can't do anything. You gotta catch him. <clears throat> Excuse me. Just as he just as he hits the wall or something. I mean, not as he hits the wall. You got you have to sort of uh. Got him a little bit. Now, come on, man. come on, man. See for this right here, I would use a uh, strategy guy. I don't even think I can use. I can't even use my rage move. Excuse me. It almost kind of raises the question, at least to me, anyways. Why give me these abilities if I can't use them when I when I want to really need them? Ah, good. I beat him. <coughs> yes. Yes. No man, you were unsuccessful. What are your orders? Excuse me. I'll see you guys next video.